one video that nobody's gonna listen to and they're gonna wish that they did. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna tell you the five things that you need to organize to get your digital life together. This industry moves so fast that if you are not together, you are going to be left behind. so many different ways. I do headshots for their kids. I edit the footage that they have into a reel. I sit down with them and go over all of their marketing materials and help assess where they're going in their career, what they can do differently. I am always right here with the parents. If you start a system early, you won't have to worry about it later. It'll be nice and easy and simple for you. You should be living on Google Drive or you should be living on Dropbox. I don't know your life, I don't know your choices, but you should be somewhere that you can access from anywhere. And on that platform, you need to have five different things. Ready, here we go. The first thing you should have a folder for is for your photos. You should have, within that photos, you should have headshot photos. Within that headshot folder, you should have mini headshot files and large headshot files because you're gonna need a big file so that you can send it to the printing, but you're also gonna need that smaller file so that you can upload it to Actors Access and different websites and stuff like that. Also in that photo folder, you should have just lifestyle photos of your child on an audition or maybe photos that you've taken for their comp card. That should have its own separate folder. The other thing you need separated out is your video. Don't throw away any video, keep it all. And you wanna make sure that when you're keeping this video that you have it broken down. So you're gonna have a folder for your reels. You're gonna have a folder for the raw footage before you cut it up because someone might ask you for a different cut. You never know when you're gonna have to make that change. You also wanna have in that video folder all of the self tapes that you make. Keep them, don't throw them away. You'll never know when you need them. You'll never know when somebody will just ask for any scene and you don't have to go record a new scene because you have that old scene that you worked really hard on because it was for a great audition important paperwork. You're going to have contracts after contracts. You're going to have working papers, which you should already have. And you want to make sure all of those things are organized and in the same place. And again, accessible from anywhere. You never know when you're going to have to pull some of that information up. Audition logs. You should have notes from every audition that you've taken your child to. One, it shows you their growth. It shows them where they're growing, where they still need to grow. And also it keeps a really good log of the people that you've met in the industry, the people that like their work, the people who have cast them. And you wanna get really good at those relationships. So you wanna have really great records on them. And last but not least, keep a folder of all of the scenes and the scripts that you receive for different auditions, for different classes. You want to keep everything. All right, there you have it. Those are the five things that you should have organized for your or your child's acting career. Now I said earlier, you want all of this stuff to be on a Google Drive or a Dropbox. It's important. You might say, I have it all, it's on my desktop. That's great, but you really wanna make sure it's accessible from anywhere. You never know, with this industry, we move so fast, you might be out somewhere and they need a headshot like this. All right, your turn. Let me know in the comments below which of these things you already have organized, if you have it accessible from anywhere, if you don't, if you think that's important. Let me know, I wanna hear what you're thinking. I want to help you. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're amazing, did you know that? I appreciate this. I really do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and as always, thank you so much for joining me. I'm wishing you love, light, and all that jazz.